Hello guys, how you going? My name's Sam from Core Electronics and today we're taking a look at which Raspberry Pi kit is best for you. It's a question I get asked all the time by you guys, so I thought I'd take a look at it head on. So it really depends, I guess, on what you're using it for. There's no way that, uh, you know, that we can answer which kit is going to be best for you because it depends on what you want to do with your Raspberry Pi, for example. Now, we love Raspberry Pi, hands up if you love Raspberry Pi, we all love Raspberry Pi, it's fantastic and getting the right kit is going to really enhance that experience straight out of the box and give you all the bits and pieces you need to get started with your uh, ultimate Raspberry Pi project. So let's take a look at a couple of the most popular kits that we have. First of all, the Raspberry Pi starter kit, easily the most popular. Uh, for good reason, it comes with everything you need to get started with Raspberry Pi, it comes with a Raspberry Pi 3 board. Yep. Very cool. It comes with a Noobs SD card, which comes preloaded with uh, the Noobs software, which has Raspbian pre-installed and comes with the config, uh, you know, Noobs setup uh, to install heaps of other operating systems if you want. Very cool. You get a sweet case. You can take this white bit off and you get ports for airflow, access to the GPIO pins, all that cool stuff, which is very, very nice. You will also get a HDMI cable and a power supply. This one's white. Yours may be black, they come in different colors, they do the same thing. Very cool, it's a five volt, 2.5 amp power supply, just perfect for powering the Raspberry Pi 3. Now, that's everything you need to get started with the Raspberry Pi, bar a HDMI display. And the reason for this, it's big and bulky, hard to ship, here's everything you need. Everyone, well, almost everyone perhaps, will have a TV, a computer monitor, some kind of HDMI display, it doesn't matter. Uh, what size it is, uh, it doesn't matter whether it's, a, as I said, a computer display or a big fancy TV, it's still going to work as long as it has a HDMI port. Very cool. Now, building on that, next we have the Raspberry Pi prototyping kit. Uh, very snazzy kit, you get everything here along with a breadboard and a fistful of jumper wires. These guys, jumper wires, you know what I'm talking about. The humble start of all prototyping. They allow, allow it to connect points together on your breadboard, which is very, very cool. Perfect if you, you know, you want to get started with the Raspberry Pi and connect things up to the GPIO pins, uh, build some circuits and then connect them up. It's already got that breadboard in there. Very, very cool. Now the gaming kit for RetroPi, a fan favorite because it comes with some controllers. USB SNES controllers, they're awesome. You can get it with NES controllers instead. You can get it with these Fancy schmancy new 8-bit do Bluetooth controller so you can game wirelessly. Very cool. And it comes with everything here, except instead of a noobs card, it comes with a RetroPi SD card. So card preloaded with the RetroPi system, which allows you to plug it in and get gaming straight away. Very, very cool. Comes with a black case, power supply, HDMI cable, by board, two controllers for multiplayer. Very, very good. Now, the media kit, this is also a pretty neat one. Now, the Raspberry Pi, as maybe some people don't know, can be set up as a media center, which is awesome. It allows you to stream movies, music, other content, pictures, uh, whatever it may be, straight to the Raspberry Pi uh, over a network and output to your TV or whatever it may be. You can uh, have an entire video library plugged in on a hard drive and navigate the media center uh, interface to watch all your videos, everything else. Really, really cool operating system. And again, much like the RetroPi system, it comes preloaded with an SD card. Uh, well, it comes with an SD card preloaded with uh, Kodi. Kodi is very cool. Well, OpenELEC technically, and Kodi is the, the you know the substance that pulls it all together. OpenELEC is a great uh, media center application, and Kodi is awesome. It makes it all work. And this time, you get a two meter Raspberry Pi. Uh, sorry, two meter HDMI cable, and also a wireless keyboard with a touchpad. Perfect for sitting on the couch, browsing, it's what you want. All right, now last but not least is our Adventures in Raspberry Pi Book Plus Parts Kit. Now this is a little different. It doesn't come with the power supply and the Raspberry Pi board and all the rest. Instead, it comes with everything you need to get started to start playing around with the hardware of the Raspberry Pi. It comes with projects book. Adventures in Raspberry Pi is one of the most highly regarded projects tutorial books. It's a fan favorite. People love it for good reason. It walks you straight through everything from getting started to really more complicated projects. Really, really good. Uh, and the parts kit's fantastic. It comes with a little tin, some push buttons, some LEDs, a little breadboard, all kinds of different components, everything you need in there to complete your Raspberry Pi hardware project, which is very cool. But of course, it doesn't come with the Raspberry Pi or the power supply or the case or anything. So you'll need to pick up that as well. So perhaps the best pairing, if you really want to dive into some hardware prototyping, is our starter kit, Raspberry Pi starter kit, 
and the Adventures in Raspberry Pi Book Plus Parts Kit. Although, again, if you already have a whole bunch of components lying around at home, the prototyping kit may be more of what you're after. So that's it guys, that's a quick look at some of our Raspberry Pi kits, the most popular ones, and which one is going to be right for you. So now when you're thinking, hmm, what Raspberry Pi kit should I get? Well, you are informed, you know everything that you need to know to make that decision based upon how you would like to use it. Hopefully this info helps guys with making the decision in your Raspberry Pi uh, adventures and projects. We'd love to get your thoughts in the comments below. If there's any other uh, kits that you would love or bits that you would love to see bundled with the Raspberry Pi to make some fantastic kits. So look forward to seeing those. That's all for now guys. See you next time.